Whoa, six marks. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is whenever they give you some brackets, but then the rest of the question doesn't have brackets, well, that's not any good. So we're gonna have to get rid of all brackets and just restart the question. So we can't put this minus three into the bracket because there's this two over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna handle this two over here. So we know that this two, um, if you take this number, is this number here an exponent? No, it's just a normal number. So what is minus three to the power of two? Well, be careful with that. It's not gonna be negative nine. It's actually gonna be positive nine because negative three multiplied by negative three is positive nine, okay? And then here, this is an exponent. So you, what do we do with exponents when they're in the brackets like that? You multiply. And then here we have an exponent with a little one. And so that would be y to the power of two. Okay, now we're gonna say minus. You can't put that minus inside the bracket just yet because there's still a number here. So you're just gonna say minus. And so now we can start. So remember that this number here is not an exponent. It is just a normal number. So what is minus three to the power of three? Well, that's the same as minus three times minus three times minus three, which is actually negative 27. Now we have an exponent, so you just multiply. And we have another exponent, so you just multiply. There we go. Now you're just gonna say plus 12x squared minus 12 by four. Okay, the next step is just to put the minus three in, but this minus three, listen carefully, is not gonna go there, there, and there. That would only be if the question looked like this. See, if everything was separate. But when it's all together, you're literally just gonna multiply it in and get negative 27 x eight y two, okay? Here we can multiply this negative in to make it a positive 27 x six y six, and then plus 12 x squared, minus 12y4. Wow, okay. So let's see what we can do. We, we should always try to do, a, now, we, now we're gonna start factorizing, okay? So we're always gonna start with a common factor. So there is a common factor in these numbers. Um, the number three can go into all of them. So I don't yet know if we should take out a negative or a positive three, but we'll figure that out as we go along. So I'm just gonna take out a positive three for now. And that's gonna leave us with negative nine x eight y two, positive nine x six y six, plus four x squared minus four y four. Okay, now I can sort of see what's gonna happen here. It's quite a good question. So I'm gonna quickly, you know these two over here, are they being plused together or minused? Or they're being plused? Now when you plus, like for example, three plus five is eight, five plus three is also eight. So when you plus, the order doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna put the positive one first and then the next one. Okay, that looks better, whoops, I don't want that. And then this, and this. If we start here, we can definitely take out a common factor there. That common factor would be nine x six y two. And what would you have left? Well, over here, you would only have a y four left over, okay? And then over here, there would only be a x two left over. There we go. Now, if we move on to this part, the, you can take out a common factor of four, and then you'd be left with x squared minus y uh, four. Ah, now look at this, guys. These are almost the same. So remember that because there's a minus here, you can't just switch them around. So what we do, I don't know if you remember this from grade nine, but what we do is we change this sign over here to a negative, okay? You well, let me do it in the next step, actually. You change it to a negative, and then you'd be left with y4 take away x2. You see what I did there? I changed this from a positive to a negative, and then I switched these two things around, okay? That's something we learned in um, grade nine, and then we need another bracket over here. Okay, so now, if we look inside here, we can see that we now have a bracket that is exactly the same. Okay, so now you end up with um, equals to three. And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take out that as a common factor. So y4 take away x2, okay. And then you're gonna be left with nine x six y squared take away four, okay. So there we go. Now, this is gonna be a difference of squares and so is that. Wow, this is a good question. It's one of the most challenging uh, factorizings I've ever seen. So we're gonna have um, something like this happening. And so if we factorize this one, it's gonna be a y2 and a y2, and then an x and an x. The one would be a plus, the one would be a minus. What is the square root of that? Well, that's gonna be three x three 
y. So if you have 3x3y multiplied with another 3x3y, then that'll give you 9, and then you add the exponents, so that'll give you 6, and then you add these exponents, and that'll give you 2. Okay, so that's exactly what we had over there. So 3x3y, you mustn't look for the square root of that number. You mustn't say, yeah, but there's nothing that can give you 6. Remember, you're adding over there. Okay, and then what is the square root of 4? It's just 2 and 2, and then one of them gets a positive and one of them gets a negative. And we are done. You can't go any further in any of those brackets, and so there's our answer.